Hello and welcome to Control Delete Tutorials. Uh, this is going to be a multi-series uh, tutorial where I cover um, how to create a tank in 3ds Max. Uh, it's already been created, but how to animate the tank, uh, how to bring that asset into Unity, um, how to use the animations, and how to program the tank so that it can uh, move in Unity um, with physics. So to start off, I just want to show a very simple tank that I made. Um, didn't put a whole lot of time into this. It's just a very simple box for a body. It has a turret on top, which is just, you know, a cylinder and a box, and then a couple other little extruded parts here. And then it's got four tires, and all of these are over here. They're all named because I want to be able to use these in Unity, and I'm going to use this naming uh, convention. And all of these objects are parented to the tank object, which is the main body of the object. So. That basically means if I rotate the body, it rotates everything else. I have these pistons on the back. These are just simply for visual purposes. Um, they don't do a whole lot in the game um, besides, you know, just looking at them. So um, currently nothing is animated. So the first part I want to cover is just setting up all the animations we're going to need. So we're going to start with an idle animation, and then we'll have a forward, a backward, a left, and a right animation for all of these. So I'm going to start with the very simple things. I'm going to start with these pistons here. So I'm going to turn on auto key. And right now I have my uh, I have my timeline here set from zero to 24 frames. Uh, you can use whatever you want. Uh, if you want, you can have it set to zero to 29. Um, if you want to have 30 frames, you know, because the game probably runs at 60 frames uh, per second um, at best. So um, I'll, I'll just end up using 30, that's fine. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have this piston move in and out uh, repeatedly. Um, so to do that, I'm just going to go to my frame. Uh, let's go to frame. We'll go to 9. And I have auto key turned on here. If you don't know how to turn that on, you can just simply click it. Or I can just press the N key to toggle that on and off. So. Uh, I don't have to set a key in Max for the beginning frame because as soon as I move to the frame I want to use, um, it's automatically going to um, key the first one and the one after that. Okay, so one of the things that's important also is that if we go to my effect pivot point, uh, my effect pivot point is set up so that it's aligned with the unity axis. So what that means is that uh, this is pointing towards the direction my tank is going to move. Uh, so that's my positive Z direction. The green one here, so green is my Y. And in Unity, Y is up. Um, and so that is going to be up. And then my X is just simply pointing off to the left. So uh, if you want to know how to do that, you can just go into the hierarchy tab, effect pivot point only. And you have rotation turned on here. And you can just rotate these, uh, the axis. Now, I've already got mine set up and everything is linked, so I don't want to mess with this. You do want to set this up before you link everything. The other thing that's important to note is that my main object here, my tank, is set to 0, 0, 0 in the X, Y, and Z direction. So that's also important. Um, that way I can make sure that my object is always going to be grounded and everything like that. So uh, that is how I'm going to have my tank set up. So to start the animation for the piston, um, I'm just going to, and obviously uh, this isn't, you know, mechanically correct. I just want things to be animated here. So I'm going to take the one piston and I'm just going to move it into where, uh, right before it touches there. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the other one and I'm going to move that, uh, I don't know, we'll say out to there. So now we have that motion. And then since I have that, I can select both of them by holding control and clicking the other. And I'm just going to copy this key. So I'm going to hold shift. So I'll select it. I'll hold shift. I'm going to move this to 20. Okay. So that's going to move it back there. And actually, you know what? I'm going to just offset these uh, so that this one is going to, uh, the last frame there, and this one will just go to 15. So I'm doing that, that way this loops back and forth. Um, and I'll go ahead and just set 
this to 0 to 30. So frame 30 and frame 0 are going to be the same frame. So when I hit play, that's all of my animation right there. And if I go to the curve editor, so Max's curve editor is up here. I'll just click on that. And so here's here are my curves between my keys. So what this means is that I have a smooth ease in and ease out for these motions. Now for the pistons, I'm okay with that. But for the tire rotation, I actually don't want to have that. And this is all I actually need for my tank animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. So I'll do save as. And I've already got some set up here, but I'm going to save over. So I'm going to name this one Tank Idle. And I'll save. And it's going to ask if I want to save over. I'm just going to go ahead and say yes. And then I'm going to do my next part of my animations. So the next ones, I've got my tires here. So I'm just going to select all of them. Turn Auto Key back on. I'm going to go to the last frame. And I'm going to go to Rotate. And I want to make sure it should default to Use Pivot Point. Uh, center uh, for all these things being rotated. So uh, I'm going to make sure also that my angle snap toggle is turned on. That's important. So that way it'll uh, rotate to every five degrees. So I'm just going to rotate these all together until this is at 360. Okay. So if I play the animation here, the tires actually speed up and slow down. I don't want that. I want linear movement. So I'm going to go to my keys, uh, my curve editor here, and I'm going to select all of my keys, and I'm going to click on set tangents to linear, which is going to make them straight. And so now there's no ease in and ease out. They just move at a constant rate, which is what I want. Okay, so that's the first part. So all I have to do now is save this as my forward motion. So I'll say tank forward, save, and that's my forward. So now if I want to get uh, these to move the opposite direction, all I have to do is take this key, move it towards the beginning, take this key, move it to the end. I'll just move that one back to zero. I can't have them overlap or overwrite. And so now, I'm just going to scrub through this slowly, we can see that these are moving backwards. That's my backwards animation. So I'll do tank backward, save, yes. Alright, so now I want to do turn right and turn left. So to turn right, I'm going to make it so these ones move backwards, which they already are, and these ones move forward. So to do that, I can just simply switch the ones on the left again. So they're back to moving forward. And so now what's going to happen is the ones on the right are moving back. The ones on the left are moving forward. So that is my turn right. File, save as, tank, right. I'll save that. And then finally, I want tank left. I'll just select all of them again, and I'm swapping all of their keys again. And this time I'm swapping all of them together. So this will now make the ones on the left move back, and the ones on the right move forward. And those are all the animations that I need. So I'll save that as my tank left. Okay. That's really all I have to do in 3ds Max. Uh, the final thing that I have to do is I have to export um, the uh, animations here to Unity, but we currently don't have a Unity file, so I'm going to start a brand new Unity file. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up Unity. So I've already got one that's kind of set up, and just to kind of show you what it currently looks like, um, I'll just play this. And so I have this set up as just a very standard um, tank. And you can see there the idle animation is going. And when I press forward, it goes forward. And it has a little bit of uh, acceleration and deceleration. Not very much, but it has a little there. And if I hit left, it rotates to the left. And if I press right, it rotates to the right. And what's cool is this is a uh, rigid body object, so it will automatically be blocked by anything that has collision. And if I have something that also has a rigid body on it, 
I can push that object. And that's what we're going to be setting up for our game. So in the next video, um, since that is the... Actually, we'll start the Unity file and then we'll export our... our um, we'll export our animation. So I'm just going to go to File, New Project. And I'm going to name this Tank Tutorial for myself. And then I'll choose where to save that. So I have my Unity project here. This is my first one that I made, so I'm just going to make a new folder. And I'll give this the same name, Tank Tutorial. And I'm just going to select that folder. I want to make sure my game style is set on 3D. I'm not going to bring in any packages as I'm going to be creating everything. So we'll go to Create Project. I don't need to save this one, I don't think. I'll hit Save anyway, just in case I change something there. And then Unity is going to go ahead and open up. Now you won't see it opening up over here because it's opening on my other monitor um, rather than the monitor that I used to record. So that'll take just a minute to prepare all the files. And then we'll get started on exporting the animations once we set up some folders. All right, so um, I'm not really going to be going too in depth on uh, what what the different um, tabs are and what they're for. There's another video for that that kind of gives you a rundown of the interface. So over here I have my assets. I'm going to create a folder. And I like to create a couple of folders. So one is going to be my 3D assets. So that's where I'm going to export all my 3D files. If I have any scripts, which I will, I'll make a scripts folder. Um, I probably won't be doing too much with texturing, but just in case, I like to have a textures and materials folder. And I just kind of group them together just to uh, kind of put things in there. And there will be some materials that will be imported uh, from 3ds Max into the 3D Assets folder, and we're just going to leave those ones there because uh, they're linked up with 3ds Max. Um, and that should just about do it uh, for this. So um, this, the nice thing about Unity is these folders that are here, um, they're live folders, so anything I put into them will update here. Uh, and anything I put in here will update in the folder elsewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say show and explore. So I'm right clicking on it and saying show and explore. So explorer is going to pop up and you'll see I have 3D assets, scripts, textures and materials. And I'm going to have these meta files that kind of go with them. You don't want to delete those. Okay, so this is where I'm going to be exporting my files to. I'm just going to copy that location for now. So I'm going to hop back over into Max and I'm going to export. So this is my tank left file. So I'm going to go export, and uh, unfortunately I won't be able to just put that there, so we'll just navigate back to 3ds Max, and I'll go into my folders here. So my Unity projects, tank tutorial, assets, 3D assets. So everything that we save is going to be in this assets folder. So everything we'll go into one of these. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just call this, you know what, uh, yeah, I'll just call this tank underscore left, and I am purposefully not capitalizing and capitalizing things here, so. Um, so on the export, uh, we want to make sure we have our animation, and I'm just going to check to bake animation, and it's going to use uh, my start of 0 and my end of 30 because I had that set up in max. Um, I'm not really worried about um, this because I don't have any skins or anything on here. Curve filter doesn't uh, matter to me right now. Um, so what I want to make sure most is that I have my animations. So by default, cameras are going to be checked. I'm just going to deselect that and deselect lights. And I want to make sure that embed media is turned on. These are any materials or textures that I might have. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to export that file. 
and I want to make sure that this is saved so I'm just gonna say save and I'm gonna open up tank right and I'm gonna right click or I'm gonna click on this export and I already have tank left so I'll just make tank right and I'm gonna use exactly the same settings so I'll say okay I'll open up the next file tank backward Make sure your naming changes up here. I'll say export. And I'm going to name this backward. I'll save that. Same settings. Open up tank forward. Export. And change the name here. Forward. And I'll save, and then the final one is the idle. Let's just make sure our idle one is not moving. Good. So, do the same thing. Export, tank, idle. And save. Use the same settings. So now when I go back over into Unity, I'm going to see it's importing objects. And I'm just going to create one more folder here real quick for scenes. I forgot to do that one before, scenes. Because I will end up saving the scene I create here. So we'll see we have tank back, tank forward, tank idle, tank left, tank right. And we have some settings over here for import. And we have the basic max textures that I had created uh, for the tires, the tank, and the pistons. And these are just standard max materials with different colors, and it imports those um, colors. So, what I'm going to do is we will continue this in the next video. The next video will consist of setting up all of the um, imports so that they have the right import settings. And then after that, we will be uh, focusing on uh, bringing these objects, uh, one of these objects in, and tying all the animations uh, together, and doing some programming um, to make the tank move the way we want it to. So, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and leave me a comment letting me know other things that you would like to see me do. And if I get to the end of this series and you would like to see this go a little bit further or see how we could use this with a, a game, you know, let me know in a comment and I will do my best to try to get that done. So thanks for watching.